Hello Aries singles and welcome to your weekly reading with Angelic Ascensions Tarot. I'm saying weekly reading but it really is bi-weekly reading. So what this reading is going to cover, let me make this clear, it's going to cover the remainder of November into December. Okay, so this energy could be playing out for you right now. It could shift into December, but I want you guys to keep in mind that time is fluid. What I also want you to keep in mind when listening to this reading is that this is a general reading, so everything is not guaranteed to resonate with you. I invite you to take a look at the videos for your sun, moon, rising, and your Venus signs for more clarity if you happen to need it. And of course, certain aspects of this reading can go vice versa because it is just general, right? If you'd like to book a personal reading, you can go to my website, angelicascensionstarot.com. Okay, I offer same-day phone readings, I offer emergency readings, etc. Go ahead and head over to my website. The link is below in the description box. So, I don't like to delay. I like to get right into the reading, guys. So, let's do that. Ah. Uh, I'm seeing a lot of different things going on for you guys. I see things going on with the relationship. Okay. I feel like there's someone that you had a really strong friendship bond with. Okay, I feel like you were beyond just in a relationship with this person. You had a very clear cut friendship with them at some point. I do feel like there are issues here with gossip. Someone could be putting in their two cents about your relationship. This could be someone gossiping about you, but we're not gonna spend too much time on there because we already know. People are going to talk. So does that really have to affect you? So we're not going to spend too much time on that, but I will touch on that because I do see it. That gossip could be going on at work as well. Okay. Let's see. I also feel, feel that there is this fear of the unknown. Okay. Um... I feel like there could be public accolade, public recognition for a job well done. There could be raise, promotion uh, with the job. Um, I feel like you could be held in high honor. You could be getting some type of award. Or this could just be some type of recognition. Maybe some of you are on social media or you um, could be communicating with someone via social media. I also feel like some of you could have a family with this particular person not all of you but some of you I see a heavy influence of a Scorpio possibly even a fire sign strong air influence so that would be Aquarius Libra Gemini I'm also seeing water sign Pisces Cancer Scorpio so that could be in their air they're rising maybe their Venus sign uh, there's been some type of deception trickery okay okay but someone I feel like is about to get a reality check this could be one or both of you, but I feel like it's more so one of you here. Okay, I feel like you're involved with someone that maybe you felt was your destiny, someone that you were really supposed to be with, but right now you're feeling like you're stuck. You're not sure what to do about how to bring things together. And yeah, there is some fear and anxiety about unknown factors here. Maybe you feel like you don't have the grasp over the situation that you would like. You feel like you don't have control over the circumstances of your life. And I feel like a third party situation could be affecting your love life very heavily. I feel like this is bringing a lot of discouragement. Whether this is discouragement, you know, just around love, it could be discouragement about finances. I feel like there's issues here with listening. Someone doesn't like to listen. Someone talks more than they listen or there's just a need to listen more to your inner voice listen to your spirit guides listen to your intuition okay there is some strong deception here someone may have deceived you in the past Aries or this could have been vice versa I'm also seeing someone using evil spells someone could be using adverse spell work baneful magic against your relationship you may not even realize it, it could be a fire sign it could be a Leo Someone with Leo in their chart. I do sense regret, Aries, that you might be having about maybe some type of deception that went on. There is an, yeah, here you are. You come up as the emperor, but you are in reverse this week. Yeah, but I feel like you're doing your own thing. You're having fun. Some of you could even be working on new projects, starting a new job. Okay, very focused on work is what I'm seeing. 
Oh, okay. Your ancestors are speaking to you. So maybe that's what we're what you're listening for, right? Your spirit guides, your ancestors. Are trying to get your attention. There's some type of obstacle. Like I said, this obstacle could definitely be this magic that is someone is using to work against your relationship. Okay. To cause obstacles, or this could be an obstacle of that third party. Let's get into it. Let's get some more details. What's really going on? Holy Spirit for the Aries for the remainder of November going into the month of December. You're feeling stuck. There could be something here that gives you a change in perspective, right? There could be a child involved here. Maybe someone was childish, childish behavior. Someone could be, yeah, that, that goes back to that social media thing, okay? Some of you could be spying on someone's social media page, eyeballing what's going on with their life. There could be difference here in color and ethnicity between the two of you. Not that it would matter, but that's just something that I'm observing. Okay, one more shuffle. Someone wanted to be free of a relationship is what I'm seeing. Okay, someone didn't want to be tied down. Like I said, you're wanting to do your own thing, Aries, or vice versa. So maybe you opted out of the relationship uh, to go and see what else is out there, right? Maybe you felt like the grass was greener. Sorry, I was just looking to see how much time I had left on my camera, making sure I'm not going to have to. Anyway, let's get right into it. Aries singles for the remainder of November going into December. Let's see what really happened here. Okay, so Aries, you recently became single. And I feel like you're feeling that single had made you feel pretty good in the beginning. Okay, but I feel like there's something here, Aries, causing you to second guess that decision. And I feel like there's been a lot of time that has gone by, or maybe someone felt that they need some time to explore their options and become and, and remain single. I feel like someone here had the propensity to be very disrespectful in this relationship. And that was part of the reason why the cycle ended between the two of you. But I also see the influence of someone else, possibly a motherly figure. This could be a mother-in-law, a baby mama situation. <sighs> someone could be finding out that there, there is a pregnancy involved in the equation. We've got the Empress. So, someone ended it for someone else, it looks like. You decided that you wanted to become single. Yeah, see, someone thought the grass was greener is what I'm seeing. So now you find yourself waiting and wondering if it's time to turn your back on your partner or on a third party. I'm seeing an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So you're getting ready to make a final decision on who you want to be with. So you're making a choice, Aries. I feel like you have a choice to make between whom it is that you were dealing with in the most recent past and maybe someone new that you began a new cycle with. Okay, you're really focused on your career, stability. But I feel like there's someone here that you want to settle down with for the long haul. And I feel like it's the one that you where things fall apart between the two of you. That's the one that you are still thinking about. The one that you're still waiting for. You're wondering if there's something here that could, there's, there's still some potential here. So let's see here. There could have been a loss of a home, a loss of a job, maybe issues here with finances. Definitely a third party, though. Yeah, I do feel like there could be issues here with home. So this person could have put you out of the home is what I'm seeing. Yeah. You're feeling disappointed, feeling deserted. Maybe even feeling like you didn't deserve this um, the thing that took place. Someone here is feeling taken advantage of. Someone doesn't feel like they don't, like, that they're not appreciated. And the equation, what is this card about? Let's clarify this. <sighs> Aries, you may have made a final decision that you're ready to reach out to someone. Okay, but you could still be involved in a third party is what I'm saying. Let's see. Are you eliminating the third party? What's, what's up with this? I don't 
don't feel like you've made a steady decision about it. I feel like you know what to do, Aries, but it's like the path of least resistance. It's like something here that you may not want to change, something here that you may not want to look at for the truth. Oh, yeah. It came out again. Someone is definitely watching the other one from a distance. So maybe you're curious about this person. You wanted to know what's going on with them. So you could be checking out their Facebook, checking out their Instagram. Okay, so someone feels like they may have put you out of the house. They're standing their ground on this decision. They're not budging. Okay, someone wants the upper hand or feels like they do have the upper hand, leaving the other one waiting here. Okay, there could be news of pregnancy, as I stated. But I do feel like you're going to hear from someone. I feel like this is a co-parenting situation. I can't say it enough. I can't stress it enough because it continues to come up in the reading. And then I, I get Scorpio vibes just vibing and reverberating throughout the reading. Scorpio. Some of you are definitely dealing with a Scorpio or Scorpio in their chart. Um, I feel like there could be a coming together. There could be a marriage here that happens. But I do feel like there could be a reconciliation. And I feel like whatever transpired here regarding a third party, there's a lot of regret attached to this. But even though someone's feeling some regret about things, whether this is you, Aries, or them, it's like there's this feeling of not really wanting to put yourself out there, not really wanting to be vulnerable and take that chance to reach out to them. So you're kind of just waiting, waiting to see what they're going to do. Because, yeah, you haven't, like I said, you haven't fully made a decision. I feel like part of you is saying, you know what, I want to reach out to them. But you're like, ah, at what risk? Is it really worth it? So you're evaluating that decision. But yeah, I feel like you may hear from this person or you're waiting to hear from them. Possibly a Libra. Yeah, but I do feel like there's a chance here for the two of you to for sure have a reconciliation. But yeah, you're not talking. You're not revealing your feelings. You're definitely pushing down your feelings, Aries or Cross Watcher. Okay, you're tired of this on again, off again relationship. Okay, the unsteadiness of it, right? I feel like you just want to be happy again. There could definitely be a Leo. Past deception, okay? Past lies, past indiscretions in the relationship. You're still holding on to them, though. I feel like part of you wants to work on this, but you're not sure how. And I feel like part of you feels like you definitely, like you're really feeling it. That feeling of having lost your soulmate is so palpable to you. You could have left this person for someone else in the past and having regrets about it. Feeling like the grass was greener, but realizing that it was not indeed. Okay. Not wanting to settle anymore. You're ready to settle these arguments, this petty conflict that the two of you had in the past. You're willing to let that go in favor of... of coming back together and seeing if the two of you can make it better this time. I feel like that's what's deeply on your mind, you, a cross-watcher, or both. You want to reach out to this person. This is why you're not willing to take that risk, or this is why you're a bit hesitant to take that risk, is because you feel like they're going to be, but you're going to get the cold shoulder, okay? So you're going to try to reach out. This is like what you're imagining in your head. You're like, in your mind, you're like, I want to reach out to them. I want to talk to them so badly and tell them how I feel. I admit my wrongs, that type of thing. But you're feeling like if you were to open yourself up like that and become vulnerable, that what you're going to be met with is this very guarded and very cold type of energy. So it's like, that's what you're saying. It's not worth it to open myself up just to get cut off. I feel like there's a lot of spiritual changes going on with you as well. A lot of prayer meditation. And I feel like there could be gossip, right? There could be friends giving you advice. But I feel like there's something within you intuitively, innately, you want to follow your own rhythm, you want to go your own way. 
This could even be with work, okay, work-related. Um, because I feel like some of you may be severing the ties with a job, or there could be a sudden loss of a job is what I'm saying that's causing you. Oh, it, it could be a job, it could be a home, but something's definitely got you worried. It got you feeling unstable and uneasy. Because I feel like you don't feel that you have the grasp over your finances that you feel that you need, that you so desperately want. Some of you could be going into a new career. Some of you could be thinking about becoming entrepreneurs. And that could be cause for celebration, right? But I do feel that you're clutching your coins, right? Maybe a need to budget your money. But you do feel that there's this call to action. Like you do feel like the universe is taking you in a different direction. But you're feeling a bit confused. Some of you could have a, a choice between two jobs, two directions here. But I do feel that you're waking up to a new contract. It could be a new contract about home, new contract with work, partnering with other people, collaborating with other people, possibly via social media. Maybe that's how you're promoting your business. Mm, I do feel like you're guarded, though. You're a bit nervous about starting out afresh and new when it comes to work maybe even feeling a bit stubborn maybe a lack of motivation but stubborn about reaching out to this person okay possibly even a taurus and no i'm not saying that all tauruses only tauruses are stubborn you got multiple signs any sign here is capable of being stubborn so yep stubbornness you got the bull in the background so that's where I'm getting Taurus. Yeah, but I do feel like there's cause for celebration, possibly with this new contract. Yeah, you could be waiting to hear about investments. Maybe you've invested your money into something, invested your time into something, your energy, right? And you're waiting for things to pay off. Yeah, you could be working with a tyrannical boss, and maybe that's why you're ready to get out of this situation when it comes to your work. And this doesn't have to be just related to love or work. This could be any type of situation. It could be family, like platonic love, family member, right? sister, brother, cousin, that type of thing. I do feel that there's a need to heal from some things here that you might still be holding on to. And I do feel that there's a need to be careful of self-sabotage. I feel like you're definitely doing some self-reflection, Aries. <sighs> Maybe you need some time to think. This time away from this person has given you time to really think about what it is that you really want. I do feel like you're laying your strategy for what's coming in next. And I feel like what, what's coming in for you is something fulfilled, that fulfills you, that makes you happy, something that you're passionate about. Uh, but I do feel like there's someone here that you absolutely love, that you want to move toward, but this person has distanced themselves from you. But deep inside, I feel like this person does care. They really do have genuine love for you, but they may have cut you off. I feel like there could be a moment of honesty here, okay? honest communication between the two of you where you Aries may admit how you really feel remit your regret about what may have been said what may have been done in spite of your fears right I feel like eventually someone here comes out and they admit the truth about something that they had been covering up and what someone could indeed be covering up could be a pregnancy your intuition that's what spirit wants you to listen to for sure listen to your intuition I feel like there's helping hands out here as well so some people could be coming together to help you give you some type of assistance or some type of encouragement possibly when it comes to making a change in your life but I do feel like that's that's the part of that reality check right that spirit is trying to get you to reach it's time to make some changes we can't continue being the same, it's time to move forward. There's new lessons to be learned. Why continue to run in the same circle? <sighs> Repeating the same lessons. So yeah, 
feel like that's what the universe is nudging you to do on to new and better things it's time to elevate go to the next level right some discouragement but spirit is encouraging you to be strong right don't fold don't buckle be content with what it is that you have right find the blessing even in the small things in life yeah but you could be up against some obstacles here let's get right into it for the yeah for sure pregnancy for some of you fire sign that could be you aries or you could be dealing with another aries leo or sag let's explore the feelings of your cross watcher let's see what let's get into their mind okay let's see what they're thinking about what they could possibly be thinking this is going to be for the aries cross watcher sun moon rising in venus this card wants to catch my attention we got the full card oh yeah spirituality someone is definitely praying or being brought closer to spirituality definitely get virgo and libra for some of you scorpio just continues to speak to me so scorpio could be your cross watcher i'm also seeing another a fire sign once again air is very prominent as well your cross watcher they're very heartbroken disappointed but i feel like if you were to come come correct and be honest with them if you are on the side of that right if you do, do feel that you've done have you know you've made any type of indiscretion i feel like that's what they're waiting for for you to be humble and to be honest and they may in turn be humble and honest as well so you may get somewhere okay cross watcher Guarded, very guarded. Could be their feelings when they see you or hear from you. Okay. Bit cold. Okay, because they they may still feel some kind of, kind of way, right, about the fact that you may have left them for someone else. They may have found out about it. Maybe they heard about it through the grapevine. And they, be, they may be acting like they don't care anymore. So the very thing that you feared may be how it plays out here. Aries, you still love them. They're still on your mind. Um, but I feel like your cross watcher, they may be a bit cold. They may come off a bit cold because maybe they feel like you're trying to bring conflict and they just don't want to fight anymore. They've kind of lost faith in the situation because they're still feeling wounded, they're still feeling hurt. But I do feel like if you came to them that they would be honest with you, but their honesty is not warm, it's very cold, it's very direct. Okay. They don't wanna worry, okay? So what I'm trying to say here is that they may be putting on a front. And acting like they don't care when they really do. And the reason that they're doing that is because they're still dealing with the hurt and the pain of it all. And yeah, they're kind of guarded. And they're, they may be trying to block you out. But I feel like you want to work on it. But they feel like you're the same person. Mm -hmm. Right? That you're up to the same, the same old same old. Okay, we got the devil cards. Some of you could be dealing with a Capricorn. Let's clarify the energy of the devil. We got this, we had this for Capricorn. Was this Capricorn singles that I did? Beliefs, no. I don't remember what sign that was, but the devil popped up out of nowhere. Much like in this reading. they may not feel certain about whether or not you're sorry so if you were to go toward them and give them an apology they they just feel like you're you're playing games with them right that's why they're being guarded that's why they're trying to block you out and say no i don't want any parts of this anymore yeah 
Seven of Swords in reverse comes up right next to the devil. So yeah, they feel like you're all up to the same tricks, the same song and dance that you haven't really changed. So they're not sure if they really want to work on this. Right? They're, they, and it can, comes up again. They're still feeling hurt. They're feeling really hurt that you... Some of them are single parents. Maybe when you left, they became a single parent. They felt like... They had a lot of responsibility. There could have been some type of financial loss, a loss of a home, a loss of stability. You got a lot of um, polar opposite energy here for the cross watcher. So I feel like they have a mix of emotion. They feel like you're secretive. Yeah, they feel like you haven't changed. But... By the same token, they still would want to move things forward with you. But they're wondering if you've even really seen the lesson. Have you really learned? Is it really worth it? They're really evaluating a lot of things. This is why they're being very guarded and very distant from you. Because they don't want the same drama. But because they genuinely do care... They question whether or not you really do. They question whether or not you're really genuine with the things that you say, the things that you do. I see energy here of a Cancer, a Cancerian. So we need to be dealing with a Cancer, so I'm with Cancer in their chart. Yeah. But I feel like they're gonna they're gonna stand their ground, right? You feel like they have the upper hand, but they feel like you're secretive. There is also some unknown factors here. Someone's keeping secrets and not really revealing the whole truth. And see, that's what intuitively they can see. <laughs> Are you being honest with them and not just being a bit honest and omitting parts of the truth? They want to know that you're being completely honest. And if you're not, they see through the camouflage. They see through it. But there is a chance that the two of you can work through this, but it's like someone here is very guarded because they're still hurt. They're still disappointed by the way things played out. Disappointed by your choices. Not to say that there are not two sides to both stories, but if we're looking at it from their perspective, they're saying your choices were poor. You did this. That friction between the two of you still stands until some of some one of you or both of you can come clean. But I do feel like you you can get there. Okay, someone and this isn't this is like deep intense pain. Someone is really hurt. So whatever happened here, someone's really truly intensely hurt by this, and maybe having some difficulty trying to get over it and heal from it. These wounds have not closed easily. There could have been some type of pattern here. Something may have happened repeatedly. Like I said, you may have left this person for someone else before. Yeah, but I do feel that someone comes back to the picture. Offering you consistency. But yeah, uh, what sign was that that I read for? I'm trying to remember what sign that was, but discernment came up. And it came up with the devil card as well. So... Whatever here that is hidden, because I do feel like someone's keeping secrets and not being completely honest and forthright, whether with you or with the third party or both of you or even with themselves, it's like there's a need for discernment. Discern the truth from the lie. That's why this card came up talking about listen. Listen to your intuition. There's a renewal here. I do feel like someone comes back in the picture and there's a chance here for the two of you to to get back on the same page but see they want to know that you're not just about you want to know that you're gonna you know you're not about words that you're about action as well okay and, and they they have a certain perception about you they see you a certain way so I feel like your your ability to back up your words with actions may indeed change their perception but until then I feel like they're on guard they may give you a chance, but uh, 
They are watching. They want to know that it's not just words. You're not stuck, Aries. You come up as the alchemist. You're able to, to figure out your situation. You're able to strategize and figure it out and figure out how to get from point A to point B. You may be doubting yourself. The Spirit is saying, don't. You're the alchemist. Someone here feels trapped, feels stuck, maybe financially, maybe stuck in their situation, maybe stuck because they found out that there's a pregnancy. Okay, there's rejection here. Okay, that could be something you're holding on to, something that you're feeling a bit. This is what hurt you the most, the rejection. So they're still trying to come to terms with that all, with all of that. There's self-sabotage here. That could be part of the pattern here. Someone is self, uh, self sabotory And the two of you aren't on the same page or you just don't understand where the other one is coming from. Miscommunication. And yeah, someone has inner child issues. And I do feel like some of you feel stuck in your job. You might be feeling stuck in a career when you really want to move on to do something else. Right? You're not wanting to do the same rat race. It's like you want to do what your heart is nudging you to do. So let's get ready to wrap this up. Health-wise, I do feel like some of you could be getting over an ailment, over an injury. Get ready for it. Change. Transformation. See that? Change. Transformation. Things may change, especially with the changing of the season. We've got winter equal, winter equal, equinox coming up in December next month. That could be some change or transformation that may happen in your situation, but I also feel like this is change and transformation that's happening internally as well. It's all about growth, all about change, because one of the lessons here was definitely self-love. <sighs> right? Getting rid of those, not getting rid of them, like you're sweeping them under the rug, but definitely healing self-sabotory energy, healing inner child issues that have gone unresolved, right? I feel like those are all bubbling to the surface, and what can you do but um, acknowledge it? Right? And once you acknowledge it, the next course of action would be to heal it. That's an individual choice, and it just depends on where you are in the lesson, right? and where you are in the awakening of it all. Let's go ahead and pull an advice card to conclude the reading with. This is going to be for the Aries singles, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. The rest of November going into December, release and surrender. It says, we shower you with blessings of radiant love. Open your arms and release the challenges that you've held tightly gripped within your hands. Open your hands, arms, and heart to our love and assistance. So Spirit is saying, let go. Stop trying to do everything by yourself. Right? Spirit is here to guide you. Okay, the angels, your right ancestors, we're talking about that. Your spirit guides are all here to guide you. God is here to guide you. So God is saying, let go. Stop trying so hard to control everything. And surrender to the universe. And don't forget to play and have fun, right? Some lighthearted energy. Right? So that's what I'm saying for you guys. For this period of time, Aries singles. I hope that this reading helped. If it resonated, feel uh, feel comfortable to go ahead and leave a comment. Hit the like button. Hit that thumbs up. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. And if you decide to subscribe, hit the bell so that you get all the notifications of when I upload. I want you guys to take good care, and I mean that genuinely. Take good care, and I will see you guys again soon. And again, if you'd like to book a personal reading, the link is below in the description box. Bye for now, guys.